In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I cut my hair at home. Now this has been like a crazy requested video. A lot of you guys have wanted to see me cut my own hair. So in between salon visits, I like to cut my hair myself and just kind of refresh my haircut and put some shape back into it because if I don't, then I just look like... No. What I like to do with my hair is obviously I like to keep it super, super long. Really, really long. It's like to here. And then I like to cut some shorter layers into my hair so that I have some body in it, some volume, some movement, and just so it doesn't look so weighed down and heavy. So if you can see, my hair is kind of dark, so it might be a little hard to see, but I'll mess it up so you can see. I have shorter layers here, and then my longest point is like here. And then all of this hair in between is kind of blended in so that it matches with the short layers. And then I cut a bang that looks like this and with this bang the way that I cut it in the video you can wear it as a center part you can wear it side parts going either way now there's two different types of scissors that you can use if you have fine to medium hair I suggest using just regular shears like this now when you use shears like this, it's going to give you a straight edge and it's going to make the ends of your layers look heavier. So if you have fine hair, you want to put that weight into your hair so that it looks like you have a lot more hair and that it's a lot thicker. If you are going to be using scissors like this for medium to thick hair, then I suggest point cutting, which is cutting into the layer, not cutting straight across because that's going to make your hair look heavier. And you don't want your hair to look heavier because then it's just going to look like it's weighed down, like you don't have any movement in it or any volume in it, and it's just not going to turn out as good. For my hair, I like to use scissors like this, and these are called texturizing shears. So what they are is just a regular blade on one side and a jaggedy blade on the other side. And what these do when you use them is they cut the, they don't cut the hair straight, they cut the hair in like a jaggedy way so that the ends of the hair are kind of like this, so like different lengths. And the reason why I like that is because if you have heavy hair like I do, then it's going to give movement to your hair and it's going to take out a lot of weight from the hair. And the ends are going to look like they're really, really feathered, which I like. So with all that being said, let's just go ahead and get started with the haircut. You can do this haircut with your hair wet or with your hair dry, but I prefer to have my hair wet. So I'm freshly out of the shower and I'm just combing all of my hair back. Now I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to create a center part going all the way to the back of my head. It doesn't have to be super perfect, just try to get it as center as you can. So you're gonna take that center part all the way to the back of your head until you can split your hair into two sides. Now that my hair is in two sides, I'm gonna part my hair going all the way back from the top of my ear. This is going to separate our length from our layers. So we're just going to take that top section of hair and just clip it away. Repeat the same thing on the other side by parting your hair from the top of your ear going to the back of your head. And then clip the remainder of the hair away. <laughs> this looks like a Spice Girls hairstyle. Now we're going to start cutting our length, so I'm just going to make sure that there's no tangles in my hair and I'm going to separate that piece into two. Separating your hair into two gives you more control of the hair when you're holding it. I'm going to start with the bottom piece first and I'm just going to run my comb through it with my fingers and determine how much hair I want to cut off. I've decided on this much hair, so now I'm just going to cut to my fingers. Be careful not to cut yourself, just use your fingers as a guide. If you're using regular scissors, then you can just cut straight across to your fingers, or you can point cut the hair. Now I'm going to take that section and I'm going to use it as a guide for my top section. So I'm going to comb all of that hair together and I'm going to run my fingers through it with the comb until I reach my guide. Then I'm going to take my scissors and cut to my guide. Your guide should be the hair that we just cut before this. 
Now I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. I'm going to split my hair into two. Then I'm going to comb the hair with my fingers and find out how much I want to cut off. Remember to cut off the same amount that you cut off on the other side. And now I'm just going to cut to where my fingers are. Remember not to cut your fingers. Go slowly. Now I'm going to comb all the hair together and bring it forward and I'm going to match the hair up to my guide and I'm going to cut to my guide. Now we've just finished cutting our length. Now I'm just going to tie back that hair because we're not going to be cutting it anymore and I'm going to let down the top two sections. From the center part, I'm going to create a one inch section in the center. So that means I'm going to take half an inch from one side of the part and half an inch from the other side of the part. Once you've sectioned half an inch on one side, then you can clip the remainder of the hair away. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side so that I have a whole inch in the center. Remember to clip away the remaining hair. Now with the one inch section, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to comb it all up. Don't worry about the hair that's fallen out. That hair is not going to get cut anyways because it doesn't reach our layer. So I'm going to comb the hair all up first and then I'm going to bring it forward. Now I can determine that I want to cut off this much hair. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut to where my fingers are. This one inch section is going to act as our guide. So I'm just going to keep cutting that hair until all the length has reached to my fingers. Now that we've cut our guide, I'm just going to remove one clip from one side. We're going to be starting with that side first. So I'm just going to mix all of the hair together. We want to mix the hair together so that the guide mixes with the rest of our hair. And now from the back of my head, I'm going to create a pie shape. Your shape should look something like this, like a piece of pie. This is going to be our first section. From this side of hair, we're going to be creating three sections. So with this first piece, I'm just going to comb it up all together and make sure that all the hair is combed straight. I'm going to do the same technique. I'm going to pull it up and then I'm going to bring it forward. And then you'll see your guide. Using our guide, I'm just going to cut the rest of the hair until it matches the length of our guide. Remember not to cut your guide. You just want to cut the hair that's longer than your guide. Now that that section is cut, I'm just going to remove a piece from the back so that we have a guide. And I'm going to mix it into the hair that hasn't been cut and I'm going to clip away the, the hair that we just cut. Now I'm going to create our second pie shape. For our second pie shape, I'm just going to split that in half. We're going to be cutting this top half first and we're going to cut it the exact same way we cut the previous piece. So I'm going to comb it up and I'm going to pull it forward until I find my guide. I'm going to be cutting this piece a little bit different. I'm not going to cut all the hair until it's short as the guide. I'm going to cut it on an angle so that it gradually gets longer. So you want to imagine that you're drawing a diagonal line on your hair. So your guide is going to be the shortest piece and the piece that's at the bottom is going to be the longest. And you want to create a nice gradual angle. Now I'm going to take the bottom of that angle that we just created and I'm going to put it to the bottom section that we didn't cut yet. And now that's going to be my new guide. So I'm just going to comb the hair up and I'm going to bring it forward and I'm going to find my new guide. Now that's where my angle is going to start and I'm going to start cutting an angle all the way to the bottom. Once you've cut an angle, then you're done. 
So just take the top piece out of that section that we just cut and clip it away. We're going to cut our last pie shape now. Just like before, we're going to split this pie shape in half and we're going to comb it up and bring it forward. When I bring it forward, I'm going to find my guide and I'm going to cut an angle. Remember, don't cut it straight, especially if your hair is my length. If you have shorter hair, then you can cut it all to the guide, but because my hair is really, really long and I want a shorter layer, then I have to cut it on an angle so that all of it blends in nicely. So, using my guide as the shortest piece, I'm going to cut down in a diagonal way until the last piece. Now, I'm going to pick up the bottom half of hair, I'm going to comb it up and pull it forward, and I'm going to finish creating my angle just like we did with the section before. Once I finish this angle, I'm going to be done cutting all the hair on this side. Then, I'm going to move on to the other side. So, I'm going to pick up a piece of hair and make sure all of your hair is wet because you don't want to have it cut unevenly. And I'm going to move it to the opposite side. Now, I'm going to start creating my pie shapes and doing the exact same thing on the other side. So, for my first pie shape, I'm going to comb it all front, bring it forward and cut all the hair to the guide. Remember, you want to have three pie shaped sections. So, for my second and third pie shaped sections, I'm going to be cutting the hair on an angle using my guide as the shortest piece. Now that the layers are cut into my hair, I'm going to comb all of my hair back and I'm going to create a center part. We're going to cut some layers to frame our face. So from about 2 inches from my forehead, I'm going to create a diagonal section to the top of my ear. Remember, this section should be about 2 inches thick. Pin the rest of the hair away. Now, from my center part, I'm going to create a triangle in the hair that we just suctioned out. I have a video on how I show you guys how I cut my bangs usually, so I'm going to link that somewhere here if you want to check it out. But since I just recently gave my bangs a trim, I'm just going to be giving them a really slight trim. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to put it at the tip of the triangle and I'm going to elevate the hair to where the brush lands. Then I'm going to trim my bangs. So I'm just going to grab my texturizing shears and just give them a nice little trim straight across. Now you want to part your hair in the center again and use your bangs as a guide to create the angle in the front. So I'm going to part that section into two and I'm going to use my bangs as the shortest piece and I'm going to start cutting an angle into the front of my hair. So you want to pull the hair forward and slowly cut an angle into your hair. Do this piece in sections because this is the piece that you don't want to mess up because it's closest to your face. So take your time and go gradually down the angle. I have a longer explanation of how I cut my bangs and an angle in the front. I'll link it somewhere here on this page for you guys to check out. Now I'm going to take the rest of the hair and I'm going to comb it into the angle that we just cut and start right where we left off and start creating that angle. And you just want to repeat the exact same thing on the other side. Remember, take your time. So now that my hair is cut, you can see all the layers that I just cut into my hair. I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry my hair how I normally dry it. I'm not going to show you guys a full blow dry routine as I already have a tutorial on that so I will link that somewhere here on this page for you guys to check out. It's pretty much the same way I blow dry my hair all the time. So check that video out. After you're done cutting some layers into your hair, you want to style your hair with your everyday hair routine so you can see how the layers are going to sit every day. And here is the finished blow dry. I'm really happy with the way that the layers came out. As you can see, they're really, really piecey and they gave me a lot of volume. And I'm super excited, obviously, with the haircut. Yeah! And the bangs, like I mentioned before, you can wear them as a center part, as a side part, whatever you'd like. And the layers are really piecey looking. So when I show you all the hair together, you can see that the layers gradually blend together. And here is the back of my hair. We're done. Bye, guys. Check out my previous video.
to see why there's so much animal print going on. It's like African Lion Safari. <laughs> I have that song stuck in my head. Anyways, check it out.